We're going to review how to change your needleless connectors on the end of the central line lumens. These need to be changed at least every seven days on your patient. So what you'll need to gather as far as supplies is new needleless connectors that can be found in the clean utility. You'll need a chlorhexidine swab for every lumen that you're going to be changing. You'll also need normal saline flushes for every lumen that you're going to be changing. I just want to outline that you need to be scrubbing the hub for 15 seconds with chlorhexidine, not alcohol. So this is what the alcohol pad looks like. Just make sure that you get the purple um, pad, which is chlorhexidine. So the first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that whichever lumen you're changing the needleless connector on is clamped off. If it's not clamped off, we can have blood come out of the lumen when we remove the old needleless connector, or we can also introduce air into our patient's bloodstream and potentially cause an air embolism. So we wanna make sure that this is locked off prior to doing any further steps. The next thing that you'll do is prepare your new needleless connector. So you'll take care not to touch the end. The end, we want to stay sterile. We can touch this little bleeding piece here because it's going to be coming off. But this end right here, we don't want to touch with um, anything that is not sterile. We will then take our normal saline flush and remove that from the package. We'll take the sterile end cap off here. And again, we wanna make sure that we don't touch this with anything that's not sterile. We'll connect these two together and then we'll flush through the line or the cap, my apologies, just to make sure that we have saline all the way through and we're not going to inadvertently introduce any air into our patient. Set that off to the side. We'll come back to the lumen that we're intending to change the needleless connector on. And the first thing that we'll do again, confirm that it's clamped and then we'll take the old one off. We will take our chlorhexidine swab and we will scrub off the actual end of the lumen here for at least 15 seconds using good friction and scrubbing all the way around every surface of that hub. After 15 seconds, we want to allow for a full dry time on the chlorhexidine. We will let it dry and then we will remove the blue piece from the end of this needleless connector. After we've scrubbed with chlorhexidine on the end here, we want to take care not to touch that with anything that's not sterile. And then of course, we don't want to touch the end of this with anything not sterile. We'll connect these two together and screw it on. From there, we'll want to open up our clamp and do a good flush through on this lumen, just to make sure that it's patent, that the patient isn't experiencing any discomfort. There's no swelling at the site. From there, if we're not going to be using this lumen for anything, we can lock it off and disconnect. The last step is to place one of these alcohol caps on the end of our new needleless connector. So in order to do that, we just peel the backing off and we can connect this directly onto this needleless connector, give it a twist and remove. So we need to replace the alcohol caps every time we deaccess the central line or anytime we draw blood, anytime we do anything related to this central line lumen and then we intend to lock it off at the end and not use it further, we need to get a new alcohol cap.